This video is sponsored by Saptech. A few hours ago, Polestar dropped a video showing a 10 to 80 percent charging time in a prototype Polestar 5 of only 10 minutes. This is super exciting and really big news for Polestar, for the Polestar 5 and electric cars in general. So in this video, we're going to take a deep dive into that video. We're going to analyze some of the footage and I'm going to talk about why this is so darn important. But just quickly guys, a little bit of housekeeping because in the next month and two, there's a lot of exciting things happening here on the channel. I'm going three times to Spain to drive brand new electric cars on their world premiere. So first off, the Cupra Taviscan and also a few days after that, the Polestar 3 and Polestar 4 and then about two weeks later I'm going to Spain again to drive the Q6 e-tron so a lot of cool exciting world premiere test drives here on the channel so if you don't want to miss out on those videos yeah please be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell and also in the mid of June I'm planning to do a meet and greet tour with Polestar at Polestar Spaces in Oslo, in Gothenburg, in Stockholm and also Copenhagen. So let me know down below if that is something you guys are interested in and also is there another city in the Nordics or maybe close to where I live that you guys want me to come for a meet and greet. Before we continue this video, I just want to give a huge thanks to Septic with their Septic Go for sponsoring today's video. The Septic Go is a small, cool and stylish home charger that can charge up to 22 kilowatts and will work with every electric car on the market, including a Tesla. The Septic Go is so good, it actually won best in test in the Norwegian Automobile Association's test of chargers in 2022. So if you want to support the channel, if you want one of the best chargers on the market, go to the link down below, find your country click on the link and purchase one from there. Just to be completely clear, this isn't the first or even second or third time we have seen extreme short charging times and extreme fast charging speeds. We recently saw the Li Mega with a cattle battery doing 10 to 80 percent in just 12 minutes with a peak charging speed of 521 kilowatts which is just completely insane bonkers. And even though these two cars, the Polestar 5 and the Li Mega, had a usable battery capacity of about the same 105 to 110 kilowatt hours, the Polestar 5 actually charged two minutes faster from 10 to 80 percent with a peak charging speed of only 337, 338 kilowatts, according to the video Polestar dropped. And in my opinion, that is much more exciting because of math, because of how battery works, and also because of the standards of the CCS chargers that have to be followed. So the real reason I'm super excited about this isn't just because I love Polestar and I'm really excited about the Polestar 5, but because of the real world application that Polestar has shown is possible with today's technology and also today's standards and certifications that the car and charger manufacturers have to follow. So in Europe and in the US, we use the CCS standard, though the plugs are different. In the US, you have the CCS1 plug, and then here we have the CCS2 plug. But the certifications and standards for amperage and voltage are the same, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, in the US, you're probably going to move away from the CCS1 to the next plug, but I'm pretty sure that you're still gonna follow the CCS standard for, for amperage, because this makes sense you know, for the car manufacturers so they don't have to think about a whole bunch of different standards and charging speeds and amperages. I, I think it's gonna be, be the same, but that remains to be seen. And also, with that being said, the CCS certification may actually change in Europe to match what the next certification will be or, or vice versa. I think those will have an impact on each other, though the plugs are going to be, be different. So the CCS certification states that the peak amperage is 500 amps for a short burst or a limited period of time because of heat that is generated in the plug and in the cable. This is just to make it safe. After that peak and after that heat is generated, it goes down to 400 amps and can stay there for the remainder of the charging session. So all of this has to do with math and that's why I'm so excited. So if we take an 800 volt battery and then we multiply it by 500 amps, that's a peak charging speed of 400 kilowatts. So already that Li Mega's battery getting 521 kilowatts requires 650 amps 
of power and that is yeah beyond what is possible or allowed with the CCS standard and that's why I'm not excited about that because it's not possible with the current regulations we have today and also 521 kilowatts is a lot more than 338 kilowatts and even though it's exciting you're talking about so much more strain on the battery that what's that going to do for battery health over the long term. So I'm more excited about getting 10 to 80% faster with a lower peak charging speed because that means the charging curve is going to be a lot flatter. And I've always been a proponent, proponent of a flatter charging curve and a lower charging speed versus a higher charging speed and a more peaky charging curve because in the real world that lower charging speed with a flatter charging curve is going to charge faster in practice because you're going to be able to charge with lower battery temps you're going to be able to charge at more chargers so in the real world it's, it's just so much better in in my experience there are a few exceptions for cars that reliably get you know that high peak charging speed and also have a relatively flat charging curve but those cars are actually really rare so back to the polestar 5 500 amps 800 volts is 400 kilowatts 400 amps, which is the amperage it can, you know, stay at for the remainder of the charging session is still 320 kilowatts. And according to the video, the peak charging speed was just below 340. So we are really close. So either, you know, the, the peak charging speed when it hits 400 amps drops down to 320 and stays there for like the remainder of the charging session or the battery pack is just a, a little bit higher in voltage than 800 volts. I don't know because, you know, watching the video, it doesn't seem like we're getting all the answers we want, but, but still, this is super exciting and yeah. So I've shown that in practice, this is possible and they've shown it's possible with today's technology, with today's certifications and regulations. And that's what really makes me exciting. You can already achieve this charging session on an Ionity charger, on many other chargers, now in 2024 so this just works in the real world and that's why it's so darn exciting but will this actually be the charging time from 10 to 80 percent when this car launches i'm not entirely sure because i'm not sure that the battery technology is where we need it to be for this to be a reliable car for it to have good battery health over the lifetime of the vehicle who knows maybe the battery chemistry will be that good when this car launches in 25 or in 26 or maybe they're there already who knows maybe they'll dial down you know the charging speed or the charging curve a little bit for the launch maybe we'll see 10 to 80 percent in 15 minutes maybe we'll see it in 14 minutes but but if they really release this car to market with a 10 to 80 percent charging time in 10 minutes and this is correct that they were able to do this you know within the limitations of the regulations and certifications for ccs that is a big step forward for electric cars for charging and just for the industry in general so that's why i'm so darn excited so guys let me know what you think down below do you think this car will come to market with this extreme fast charging time or not I'm interested to hear from you guys. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please drop me a thumbs up down below. And for more car content, as always, please subscribe. See you guys today and goodbye.